Hi guys, Dave here, Dave's LFC Chats, and I've got the legend, Jack Mac LFC on the line. Check How's it? Jack Mac, How's one for getting us on again, mate? No problem, uh, bro. I hope no you're problem. having a good day, and every single one is having a good day, Friday, nearly the weekend, nearly the Reds in action anyway, uh, mate, but thank you for going, uh, uh, get me on, mate. Um, uh, me and Dave are going to have a little more, bit longer discussion on my channel later on tonight uh, after yeah. we sort of work and that, so... Uh, go and check that out. But uh, nice one for everyone for tuning in today. Um, okay, we just get into a real quick one. Obviously, the breaking news this morning was the Nike New Balance Cork battle, which yeah. looks like Nike have come out on top, which I think 90% of Liverpool fans wanted because not only do Nike have a bigger uh, global reach, uh, the money, more lucrative superstars, all this business, and Bat Bay 2020 is one of them. <laughs> which I think is rubbish, it won't happen. But anyway, you never know. Um, yeah. It's just bigger. But to be honest, I, I like the New Balance up to this. They've done some lovely kits. Yeah, I've got some New new Balance racing dice on here. Um, but yeah, mate, I, I think from uh, as a fan, like every single one of us, I think we can all look at it. They've designed some nice kits, um, yeah. obviously, over the last couple of seasons. And obviously, um, it's very rare that they create very similar creating kits to other, obviously, clubs around the world. But I've been happy with um, the uh, end of their current deal. I think it's been a successful partnership for both Liverpool and New Balance as well. Obviously, New Balance did want to renew the contract. But I think, as you've already mentioned there, mate, in terms of financial point of view uh, for the club and on the field as well, in terms of recruitment and, and players coming forward, uh, it's a great deal. Uh, I'm excited for it. Um, it's going to be expensive. We know how, how much expensive uh, kits are in general, anyway. But I know Nike do um, hike up at a couple of their prices, anyway. But you're paying for quality, really, like yeah. well as most kits. Maybe, but I mean, what are your I'm thoughts? An, I'm an Adidas man myself, to be honest. Adidas. But Adidas weren't in the running. I, th- I think the deal is something like 30 million sterling a year yeah, over five on, yeah. years, plus 20 percent of worldwide sales on Liverpool kits and merchandise, something like that. Yeah, I think obviously when you go like a sign with uh, obviously a brand with that uh, with like Nike, I think I read somewhere obviously uh, yeah. t- in t- tie in with obviously brand people big like Serena Williams, Tiger Woods, Drake, and all obviously the big one, LeBron James, and um, they will be promoting Liverpool through their own brand. Obviously, the the partnerships in which they've got with Nike, so that's very exciting, regardless. Obviously, they might not into Liverpool but they will be promoting Liverpool as a football club in terms of obviously a huge American um, audience and around the world really yeah, that they've yeah. got which is great because um, the more people that get to see Liverpool or get introduced to Liverpool um, that haven't, haven't really watched football but they, they get involved through those obviously big personalities and obviously if you yeah. see a, a nice Liverpool kit in, in a Nike store. Well, the thing about it is now, football, say, in the last 10 years has really become a global, global yeah. brand. I mean, United were the, were the leaders of that with their merchandise yeah. and Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juve, maybe. But Liverpool are starting to catch up on them now. And it's, it's worth see, the problem to people giving out about money and business. And the more money you have, the better players you attract, the better wages yeah. you can pay, the, the better players you can buy. It's just, just the way it is. It's it, it, Unfortunately, it, it, it has become... A business now. I know a lot of people don't like that word business around football. They still like, you know, the yeah. traditional way. But unfortunately, that's gone. Since Guy Sports came in, Champions League came in, that's gone out the window. Yeah, absolutely spot on, mate. But I think it's important that obviously we've all seen the Liverpool have become the club that we have become over the last couple of years, obviously the recruitments and all that. But obviously the financing of players, obviously kit sales as well, that FSG have done as well. The appointed Michael Edwards. It's step by step process, yeah. and if the stuff didn't happen off the pitch, the stuff wouldn't be happening on the pitch. Some people might disagree to agree anyway, but I think a lot of that stuff that does happen off field really does have a huge impact in terms of yeah. Liverpool. Obviously, as a brand, it, 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 like it or not, Liverpool and Manchester United, two of the biggest brands in world football, because um, Liverpool, yet yeah, we're a huge club. But the most important thing, I, I mean, you will agree, mate, and I think a lot of us people watching as well, the thing that is most important is the things that happen on the football pitch. We focus on that. We let, obviously, the um, Peter Moore deal with all, obviously, off the field 
issues in relation to to Brandon and and kit deals. We he struck up that deal anyway with uh, Nike, which is great, mate. But I think it's positive on and off the pitch for Liverpool going forward. That's the way to be successful, both on and off the pitch, because both go in in, in tandem. The other thing is, I, I two things actually before we go on to the Spurs Liverpool yeah. game we get. Did you see Arnold Schwarzenegger? It was uh, saying he was a Liverpool fan. Did you see? Him? Oh no, I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll love be it. back. <laughs> I love yeah. him even more. <laughs> oh, you're fantastic. <laughs> I love him even more. Yeah. But uh, I leave them even Peter more. What was the other um, What was the other thing as well? There was another bit of news. Um, obviously midweek we beat Gank for one. Yeah. They weren't Gank, weren't as Gank as I thought they were going to be. But um, yeah, I mean it just leads us nicely onto the big one Sunday. Uh, Liverpool Spurs. We've a good record again. I think we're like a hoodoo team on Spurs, to be honest with you. Yeah, touch woods, everyone touch woods. If you got any around, yeah, um, it's it's good going forward. It by no means, regardless when we do look at Spurs, is obviously coming form. Obviously, they, they smashed uh, whoever midweek five nil. Yeah. Um, in the Champions League, great for their confidence, really. But it, it's how they continue that uh, momentum, really. But I think Liverpool have just got to continue what we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we didn't play necessarily bad no. at Manchester United. We just didn't really show our full potential. And, and, yeah. and it, we, I was seeing last year, uh, Mohamed Salah, um, lovely goal. I think it was when we drew to a wall. Um, couple of, it was last season or the season before. I loved that, one of his goals of the season. That was two seasons ago. Yeah, yeah two seasons ago. But they equalised with that famous Kane dive penalty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, mate, I, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a great occasion for both clubs. Um, but yet again, I think Liverpool, home form, we go out there and do our job. Um, I'm hoping everyone let us all know your thoughts in the comment section below. What would be your midfield, Dave, uh, obviously? Well, this is the big thing. During the week, we, we, we played a really attacking three of Fabinho, Naby and Ox. I mean, I was amazed to see that. Now, in, in ways it worked, but in other ways it didn't. Against a better team, you might get caught out. They caught us two or three times defensively. OK, we were missing Matt and Trent, but... I can't see him playing that three again. He might do yeah. it in a League Cup game. I just don't see him doing it. We were too open at the back. Now, I think Henderson will come back in. I think Genie will come back in. Will he play Naby or will he play Ox? That's the big question. Yeah. I would love to see Ox in because I think now he's full of confidence. Two goals, two confidence in it. Oh, but the only problem is he's been out so long. Will he start Will he start in two games in a row this early? I don't know. Um, hopefully Trent looks like Trent will be back there's still a bit of a doubt on Matip but if we can get Matip Trent back Robbo DVD Allison, then you have the middle of I say Hendo Genie be back now could be wrong even if we yeah. nabby in there just get that bit of lubrication I was talking about before yeah. it's KY Jelly midfield it's beautiful <laughs> and okay, yeah. if you have Mo Mane and Salah and Salah's a good record against them and I'm, I, he got a good goal the other night he didn't play well against Genk yeah. he, he got that all important lovely goal it gave him a lot of confidence that yeah. goal I reckon yeah. going in, 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 in the coming weeks anyway uh, but I think as you mentioned there mate, I think obviously we don't want to be too open against Spurs we know their threats obviously Huminson and, and, and Harry Kane two very clinical finishers like we've yeah. seen um, could they want revenge obviously of the Champions League first time we played them since the Champions League final uh, in Spain anyway, mate. I'm excited. Um, I think he might go with Naby. And obviously, Hendo... He a good game. Naby, yeah. great game. Great yeah. Game. I, I think he very much linked the midfield. Obviously, I'd love to play Ox anyway, but I think Naby, in terms of the way in which we've been playing, I think Man United, most importantly, um, we we very much missed Naby, even though they, Naby and Ox did come on anyway late on in the game to get, to, get us a draw. Really, yeah. but I think it was the piece that was kind of missing in terms of the, the interchanging. And well, the, the, good, the good thing as well, Jack, I don't know whether you touched on it in your own videos during the week, was the likes of Lalana who came on against United scored. You now beat a good game the other night. You know, Ox came, started first time so in many. 10 years. Like two <laughs> this is just lovely for the group, for the squad moving forward. You know, you know you've know, guys on the bench that can make a difference, that can start if someone gets in. Yeah. This is what it's all about. That's what makes the squad, uh, you know, that's what wins your leagues or wins your cups. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, we got Arsenal midweek in, in the Disneyland Cup final <laughs> against Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. So, I'm sure the likes of Elliot, Lovren, Brewster, of course, will get games. But I'm looking forward to the Spurs game. It's always tight, really, really tight games. You know, they're all, yeah. even the Champions League game was tight when you think about it. Yeah, I'm not going to leave it. Uh, what was it last week? I said... Uh, 
Is it 4 0 or 5 0 against Man United? Uh, I think I'm going to go for probably a 2 1. Yeah, three, but that's I what think, I'm going for. Yeah, yeah, 2 1. Yeah. I think we can very much get at Spurs, obviously. The frailties in which they've showed over the last couple of weeks, especially defensively. When I watched them against Bayern Munich, when they absolutely got trounced about 7 2, I think it was, or sort of around <laughs> there. It's probably yeah, more or less a cricket score anyway. Yeah. Um, but I think the frailties are there and, the, and, and obviously Spurs' defensive play. I think Jürgen Klopp and, and the lads in terms of the technical departments are very much look at, look at that and very much look at what Salah and obviously the lads up front have been doing yeah. Yeah. and just very much try and suffocate them really and just continue, obviously, get the crowd behind us and get a nice early goal. I think that's what we failed to do against Manchester United. We can get a nice early goal um, come Sunday and, and and see what happens anyway. But I, I can't wait, mate. I do, I'm going to have to backtrack. I said 2-0 on a video on a video yesterday. Two videos yesterday. So I'm going to have to stick with 2-0. <laughs> yeah. I, I just want to win the game, Jack. Three points. Keep yeah, the press anyway, on City. Because yeah. I'm expecting City to beat Villa tomorrow at the at the empty hat who are renting a crowd. I heard they're renting Oh, crowd. yeah. Oh, influencers. are. Oh, my God. Embarrassing, it's, embarrassing. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me anyway. Uh, it just, it, it's, it's, I just absolutely love it. The uh, stuff that comes out. Uh, but yeah, mate, I can't wait. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with the two one. Everyone, thank you for tuning in. Anyway, um, Dave, have a call with you yesterday in work if you can, mate. Uh, nice one for having us on. Absolutely. No welcome. problem. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a video with Jack later on his channel, a bit more in-depth, a bit longer. I'm rushing out the door here. Yeah, oh, I'll no talk worries. to Jack later. Thank you very much. Check out Jack Mac LFC on YouTube, one of the best Liverpool content on the planet. Nah, <laughs> okay, mate. Jack, uh, I'll talk cheers. to you later. Speak to you soon, fella. Beans more. See you, bro. Yeah, man.